Hi guys, it's your friendly neighborhood yawning cat and welcome to the first episode of the Black Widow Challenge. Now, this gorgeous lady right here has her own little cast video and in that cast video I explained and at least briefly sort of introduced you to the rules and conditions of what the Black Widow Challenge entails. Now, the rules I will link in the description part of this video at least the rules that I am using, I did notice that there are a, well, not a bunch, but there are a couple of different Black Widow challenges going on. We are going for the one where we need to get 10 husbands killed. That's the one we are going to be using. And what we are going to start Juliet's day with is we are going to make a little bit Mm, I'm thinking we're gonna make some grilled cheese. I sort of feel like I go for grilled cheese almost all the time in the beginning of my LPs. It's simply because it's one of the, you know, more like yummy looking and sounding dishes that you can make in the very beginning of the game. And when it comes to Juliet, she's living in her brother's house. Um, and her brother is no longer with us. Now, if you would like to see the build for this house, I am going to put it as a card in this video. And at the very end of the video, I will suggest that you watch the cast video for Juliet, just in case you're not really familiar with the Black Widow Challenge rules and stuff like that. And in general, we'll just like to see how, you know, I created her. So we're going to do a little bit of gathering because that's one of the rules. A little introduction for you here. Uh, you can't really have a job as a Black Widow. You're sort of dependent on the husbands that you marry. And another thing is that you can get money by collecting goods that have that just appear in the world. So you could harvest plants, you can look for frogs, you can dig out some, you know, hidden treasures and stuff like that. And this gorgeous house that we are passing by belongs to a man named Garrett, I think. Uh, and another thing about the Black Widow. Now, what I would like you to do if you're going to be watching this and if you're just watching this episode right here is you can put a hashtag, a yawning cat. Uh, when you create a sim, let's maybe add a couple of letters so we have Black Widow Challenge. So, BWS, um, so hashtag a yawning cat, BWS. Uh, I will put the hashtag on the screen if I remember to do it and if I just know how to do it. But basically, enter that hashtag in the description of the sim that you create. And there is a very likely chance that your sim might end up as being one of the guys that Juliet dates, um, you know, cheats on her husbands with and eventually murders because that's what we do in the Black Widow Challenge. So I've, I think, entered about six or seven guys into the world. Um, so there are a couple of guys already in the world living in mansions and stuff, and I've already decided that she's going to be with those guys. But Jay... Um, the guy that is actually at her door right now. It is her good friend. He has been living in Newcrest um, for as long as she can remember. And her brother used to live in Newcrest. She did used to sort of just visit the area to sort of check up on her brother from a distance because Jay and her brother Bill were neighbors. And... Jay is not going to be one of her victims, that's for sure. He's sort of her one string of humanity that is sort of always been there. And it's somebody that she can rely on. It's somebody who she just loves dearly. And there's no chance in hell, guys, that we are going to marry and murder Jay. Jay is her friend. And oh, it's not Garrett, it's Grant. So Grant lives in one of the fancy houses. 
And I would like to see the name of the other guy. Oh, Laurent. So Laurent also lives in the neighborhood and he also has a very big mansion. And I'm thinking that we are going to try and spice things up with one of these guys, see how it goes, and one of them might actually become our first prey. Now, it really depends on, you know, who's going to be a taker right now because, well, Juliet's not the kind of type that's going to, you know, sort of beg for a man's attention. She knows what a guy wants. That's why she wears the clothes that she does. You know, she knows that she's supposed to have revealing clothes uh, because, you know, guys have wandering eyes. And she's just sort of flirting it up with both of them. And we will see which one of the guys... Grant Oliver Laurent will fall into her web. Now, you see, I definitely think that this challenge is a challenge where you want to, um, you don't want to take things slow. You know how in my other LPs, they're very like plot driven and we can have an episode where we take it slow and we just sort of relax and we sort of bond with the characters. The Black Widow challenge is basically, at least to my, you know, to my mind, it's about a woman who doesn't really take her time with men because what she wants from men is not necessarily something you need to take time with you know she doesn't want to build a romance she doesn't want to create this you know epic love story with them no um what she wants is to seduce them to get them into bed to you know if they like it then they should have put a ring on it and when she's got a ring on it she wants to marry them show off that she's the perfect wife so that the cops and you know witnesses wouldn't suspect a thing uh, and Grant is not accepting our affection. Oh, we, 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 we might try some more. We might we might compliment his appearance, just appeal to his vanity, even though that's not working. So yeah, so Juliet is definitely wanting to do to sort of take advantage of her husband's to show off to anybody that could potentially suspect her that she, you know, that she is a perfect wife. And convincingly convince them that she would never do any harm to her hubby. And then cheat on him and murder him. Uh, another thing that I actually wanted to consider. And hey, you know, throw in your two cents into the fountain of the comment section down below. If you have a suggestion as well. But I've been thinking, you know... I know that the English Simmer, when she did the Black Widow Challenge, she sort of killed off Sims in different ways, kind of, although I don't think every single one of them died in a different way, but she killed them all in a different way, and she sort of just tried to kill them off with the game. So, like, you know, making a person hysterical and, like, you know, putting them in a pool and then building a fence around them. But, you know, to my mind, that's not that's not as realistic. And I know that there is a mega violence or something violence mod going around The Sims 4 where you can basically, you know, stab Sims and you can shoot Sims. You can just sort of do a lot of stuff with Sims. And... Um, and that just seems a little bit more realistic because if we have a black widow that kills her husbands, then, you know, we would have a mod that allows Juliet to physically be the one killing the Sims. So I think it would be a pretty good idea, but you can sort of, you know, like I said, put your opinion into play and sort of you know, tell me and and sort of argument why you think something else or maybe why the violence mod would be a great idea. You know, just, just make your suggestions. And when it comes to Juliet, it's obvious that Grant is not the guy for her. I mean, hey, Jay is here thanking us for being a great neighbor. We just became good friends with him. Of course we did. I mean, he's a great guy. He's a good guy. He, you know, watched out for her. He was the one who wrote her a letter that her brother was sort of feeling unwell for a couple of days. He was the one who warned her that something might be happening. But, you know, 
in the end, he couldn't prevent what was unpreventable. But Juliet, in this case, is using this beautiful house in a beautiful area called Newcrest to her advantage. And, you know, she's just going to, she's just going to take it, take it with, um, take a chance with Laurent over here and we're gonna see how flirtation goes with him with him you know Grant wasn't very accepting but does Laurent fit into the same sort of um, pattern who knows we're going to see we're going to they already have a pretty big pink bar now see and that didn't work on Grant now no matter how hard she tried he was just like <laughs> I am a little bit skeptical about you poor girl living in a small house. I'm not sure you're not just a gold digger. And I think and I think Juliet will prove Grant wrong when she just swoops in with a bunch of cash that she gets by living with Laurent and proves them that she can be a fancy bitch if she wants to. And Laurent, oh, he is digging. He is digging her um, affection and her approaching him. So we're just going to smooth recovery out of whatever awkward situation we got ourselves into. We are going to flirt. We're going to probably compliment his appearance. I mean, it's, it usually works. It works like a charm. If you've ever wondered how do you get into good graces romantically with a sim, I just sort of spam flirt, compliment appearance, flirt, compliment appearance until I get a pink bar. Then I do it a couple of more times and then I start throwing in other interactions. But that's just sort of the algorithm I figured that works best in the game. So we are going to try and compliment his appearance once again. And she wants to have a first kiss with him. And I sort of yawned while talking, so I'm sorry for that. So she wants to have her first kiss with him. We can definitely arrange it. We're going to blow him a little kiss. Just to give him a little idea of what we're into here. Just to give him a little taste of what we really want. And he's just like, oh, God. well, you are one beautiful, gorgeous, amazing woman. And I am, <laughs> I am taken aback by your amorous exchange of words. And she's like, well, if you're overwhelmed, let me get your number, baby. And he's like, uh, I want you to call me anytime and uh, every day and just let's, let's hang out. And she's like, well, you know... It's all in the day's work of a black widow. And he's like, what? Nothing, nothing at all, you silly little prey. And that's how she's looking at him. Like, he's this, you know, simple, young, naive little guy that just buys into her flirtation. And he doesn't even suspect a thing. And that's why, you know, Juliet, Juliet's a perfect sort of flirtation master. She has really sort of went through a lot of relationships with guys and she has always been great at starting relationships and at sort of just getting what she wants in them. But then she realized that it doesn't really matter how hard you try. Sometimes the guy is just a freaking mess and he doesn't want to have anything to do with you. And then that's the sort of thing that can drive a relationship apart is that no matter how good you are, at making the other person feel right sometimes the other person isn't right for you and then they just hurt you and treat you like garbage and that's that's a thing that might happen so we are actually going to ask him to leave and I think that we are maybe going to go on a little date with him I definitely would like her to do that so we might just take care of her knees and she's eyeing him like her first little prey. She's like, oh, you're in my web and I know exactly what you're going to be getting. And when it comes to Laurent, I want you guys to understand that every single one of these guys that Juliet is going to be with have their own dark and not so dark, but pretty darkish secrets. And that is why... She's going after these men. She has moved into Newcrest because Newcrest has famously been known, at least, you know, in her sim universe, as the place for rich and suspicious guys and personas in general to move to. Now, 
You might be thinking, oh, so is this like a little hideout place? No, this is like a city, like a town in The Sims 4 world where all of the people with like, you know, secret bank accounts in Switzerland and, you know, just like lovers and illegal activities, they can all settle here in Newcrest and live peaceful lives because there are no cops that would question their activities and Bob Pancakes is standing in a pile of trash, um, <laughs> literally me, no I'm just joking, uh, he's standing in a pile of trash because maybe that's what he feels like, you know, I mean he's living with Eliza Pancakes who is an unloving and cheating wife, so... Uh, we might we might go after Eliza. Hey, who knows? You know, uh, Juliet is definitely not a sim of preferences. She does not. She's really in the gray zone of bisexuality. She just usually goes for men. She hasn't really ever dated women, but she has done things. You know. Some people like to call it experimentation. In our case, it was just her just getting it on with, you know, a chick that she met in college. And, you know, for Juliet, there's no such thing as, um, you know, there's only Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve or whatever. She's, she's tolerant and she herself is actually feeling like she could swing both ways. She's just usually preferred males. That's her little thing. Um, you know, it's the 21st century, we can all be open about our sexuality, and with Juliet, it's definitely the case of her just knowing that she prefers one gender over the other, but that she is definitely open to both, so hey, if you want to create a hot, smoking, bad bish for Juliet to seduce and punish for her crimes against you know, men or women or just humanity in general, then please feel free to do that as well. This this LP does not discriminate. Uh, Juliet does not discriminate. Juliet is just used to men and she is going to go out on a date with Laurent. So here we are at the Chowder House. It has been made by Sil Rose. As you guys might have heard from my... Well, oh wait, you haven't. You haven't because... I haven't showed you that episode yet, but um, <laughs> sorry, just a little brain fart. So we're at the Chatter House, which is built by Syl Rose. She's one of my favorite builders. She makes builds that are really real, you know, like they're not over the top. They're not too much. They're just perfect. And Juliet is sharing a secret to Laurent that, you know, she has never really been been with a man on a date before and he's just like oh well I am flattered that this is your first date and Juliet knows that guys are a fan of that they're fans of firsts so she knows that her stressing that this is you know her first date with a guy in forever uh that she just usually just sort of started dating guys and she never went on official dates it gives him flattery because it makes Laurent feel like, you know, he's the one to sort of go out on a date with her first. It's sort of like his little victory. But she's giving it to him as a victory because she knows that that's what men dig. And now if you're wondering, well, Kat, you mentioned that Laurent has, Laurent, just like all the other guys that Juliet is going after, they all have their dark secrets. So what is Laurent's dark secret? Well, I am glad that you asked that question. So Laurent's dark secret is he has been in a situation just like Juliet. He has, you know, sort of been slumming it for a little while. He lived in a tiny little house that needed TLC, he had holes in the walls, and huh, now he's wearing no clothes, okay? Uh, Laurent, chill yourself. So he lived in a crappy, basically, house. Um, he had no money, but he did work for a business company for a CEO who was a female and he was just sort of working in a cubicle working a dead-end job position basically 
And he never really considered himself to be the kind of guy that would be with a woman for money, but he found himself eating, you know, ramen noodles for two weeks straight. He found himself drinking his sorrows and, you know, dim and gusty every night at the bar. And he realized that he was depressed. He was feeling horrible. He wasn't feeling good about himself or his life or his future. And that's what sort of made him reconsider his values. So he went after the CEO of the company, his future wife. He seduced her. He then made her fall in love with him, even though he didn't love her at all. Uh, she wasn't his type, but you know, she was she was just a very, very skinny and athletic uh, woman who was very ambitious, uh, but not like ambitious, like I want to be the CEO of this company, but ambitious, like she would sort of um, go to every negotiation with, you know, the partners of the company. She would sort of take on all the responsibility in the company, not letting any of her uh, CFOs do any work around. So she was sort of one of those... Um, I'm not going to see career women because there's nothing wrong with being a career woman. But she was one of those women that just sort of needed to control absolutely every single part of everything in her company and her life. And it made her employees feel like, you know, then what am I doing in this company if you don't even need me here? Um, so he didn't really like her for that. He didn't like her for the fact that she started dressing him. She started, you know, picking the sort of hair that he's supposed to have, the sort of glasses he's supposed to wear to the beach. She just sort of started controlling every single bit of his life. And he knew that that was just, you know, something he would have to endure to marry her. Now, being a woman who had never sort of felt love's charms, and I do mean the CEO of his company, she was sort of naive and she didn't really check the prenup that they signed before getting married. And she just sort of went for it um, and she signed the papers, not even checking the little, you know, lines on the margins and stuff like that. And what Laurent had snuck into their prenup was that if he finds her cheating on him with or without any evidence of it, um, like with just subtle evidence of cheating, then he would get everything that she owns and she would have to give up, you know, her company and everything to him. So what she didn't know was that when she would go to the gym and just, you know, hang around with her trainer and stuff like that, he had a private eye sort of take pictures of her and you know with your trainer sometimes you know they help you out with some um, exercises and they hold you and they touch you and stuff and so he just he just sort of milked the the cow of the um, air quotes evidence of her cheating with her trainer on him and the court deemed it the sort of mild suggestive evidence of her cheating as enough to give him everything that she had and he basically bankrupted his wife who he did not love he got her company he sold it for profit and he now just lives off of all the money that she had worked hard for her entire life and he so he ruined a woman's life and her career and her company that her family had worked on for generations because he felt bad about being poor so we are asking Laurent to change into clothes. He changes into her his party wear, and I do not approve of the belt. But we just don't want to see him in his trunks anymore. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go outside to the little area 
us out of the uh, chowder house and we're just going to chat a little bit on the bench now they had some ceviche and chips they had some drinks they're relaxed they're full they're satisfied they are feeling a frisky at least Juliet is we're going to see about his oh he he's flirty too okay so they're both flirty they're both feeling it um so we're just going to flirt it up you know she's she knows that this guy would never suspect to be taken aback by a woman that you know is in a position where he once was so we are here at the black widow house uh i still like how I, that's what i called it um so we are here laurent has walked us to the door and we are going to probably invite him over and have a little you know nightcap we're going to invite him over to see the night and he's just like oh well i like how on towards you are and she's just going to caress his cheek make him feel like the most amazing guy that seduced a woman like her even though she seduced him we all know that she's going to you know kiss his neck and just just sort of go for it and really 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 um show him how much she cares and she is going to be like you know what got something on your neck and he's like what do i have on my neck and she's like <laughs> my lips and she's just sort of going for it. she's a seductress for sure um you know if you're wondering you know how does she know all of these things well you know this this girl she, she's been in relationships before in a lot of relationships with a lot of guys like laurent and that's her problem she just can't find a good guy in this world and their first kiss is got to be documented with a thousand screenshots people um so she has never really found a good guy but she knows how the bad ones work and she knows how to make them and what makes them tick so she's just going for you know all the steps kissing his neck having their first kiss and you know what we're going to go upstairs after a little bit more flirtation and do something that we know Laurent is dying to do so they're going to go upstairs and they're going to woohoo they're going to woohoo because she knows that that seals the deal with Laurent he's already called her on towards he has already said that he likes how straightforward she is and she's just going for you know that last bit of straightforwardness with her sexy lingerie and damn that's a cute outfit and they are going to seal the deal and just do it under the sheets and you know, the game says it's her first time and that's what Laurent thinks. So she basically whispered into his ear while, you know, kissing his neck, you know, it's going to be my first time. And he's just like so delighted. He is the first one to take her out on a real date. He's the first one to have her. And she's just giving him all the little titles all the little victories that she knows he will enjoy and she's just sort of going for it and i think that this shows you that julia doesn't just mess around she wants him to believe that he is everything that she has in this world because that will make him less susceptible to doubt and suspicion oh and grant Grant is actually telling us that he's glad we became friends with Laurent Collins. Well, you know, maybe he's going to be glad uh, that we are going to sort of start flirting with him pretty soon. So it's available for her to take a pregnancy test. And I just remembered that she did not take any sort of pills, any sort of prevention, um, you know, I guess he just got carried away a little bit. So, I mean, he has to go because he needs to pee and he doesn't want to, for some reason, pee in our toilet. Maybe it's because it's not made out of gold, you know, who knows? So she's going to grab a little serving of grilled cheese. We're going to take care of her needs in the morning. She's taking you know, a soothing bath. Um, she's going to eat some, eat some cheesy goodness. She's just sort of going to relax. And, you know, if she's, 
I don't know, guys. If she's going to be pregnant this soon, I don't know what I will do. But, you know, we'll just have to wait for the other episode to really find out. But she's just feeling so giddy. She's so flirty. She just feels really good after last night, you know. Because last night really made her feel like mm, she has a hang on it. And he wants to take her out, I think, right? Because he's calling her. Juliet, it's me, Laurent. Do you want to go on a date? Nightclub, the blue velvet. Uh, he went to a nightclub in the morning. I don't know what that says about him as a person. Maybe he has friends there that he needed to share the news of a scoring with Juliet Hawthorne here. But whatever it is, she's going to work out. She's just going to do some plumboomba dance video exercise. Just sort of work that frustration off. She did have a good time with um our Laurent she did have fun it was pretty good but she still knows what she has to do for the betterment of womankind so guys I really want to thank you for watching it's I mean this episode really went by smoothly it went by fast but I mean this is a challenge okay this isn't this isn't one of those 100 episode LPs this is this is serious business here okay so i really enjoyed it it's definitely different to have like this femme fatale character in my lp and just sort of going around murdering guys so i need your take on the murder mod down in the comments below if you want to create a guy for juliet or a girl or a girl but she has to be smoking hot okay like juliet's Juliet needs something that would scream, I got a lot of work done on me because that's how I get money from guys. Like, maybe she will actually kill off another Black Widow. Who knows, you know? So, like, take uh, your time, create a sim, and just hashtag a yawning cat, BWS. Uh, so it's Black Widow, oh, not S. Black Widow Town, so BWC. I will put it on the screen again right here if I still know how to do it. Okay, so hashtag me in the gallery. Your suggestions about the LP are also weighted in the comment section down below. I need your opinions. I need you to tell me what you think, what you see in her future, how you see Juliet in general. So let me know if you like this video, click the like button down below, and if you haven't become a member of the fam, <laughs> then, you know, subscribe to my channel. And I want to thank you guys so, so much. You do really mean the world to me. I mean, my husband, my cat, and you guys, you know, you're, you're my fam. You really are. And I'm just so, so glad that we met. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Bye!